Hey guys, welcome back to NFL Minds channel. Today, we're diving into some of the most gut-wrenching, heartbreaking moments in NFL history. From last-second fumbles to devastating injuries, these are the moments that left fans in tears and players shattered. Grab some tissues and get ready, because this is going to be an emotional ride. Let's begin. Let's start with Stefan Diggs. The world will never forget what they meant to him, and one of the biggest fans though. This is Aiden Laborde, a youthful Bill supporter who not only adores Stefan, but also football as a result of his father, who introduced him to it. Regretfully, his father had recently suffered from a brain problem, and he tragically died after being taken to the hospital. Since Stefan also experienced the anguish of losing a father, his father passed away when he was a child due to a medical condition. This news was very upsetting and pained him as well. It also became a hot issue. In addition to asking Aiden to attend his training camp, Stefan also spent some time with him. Aiden was given permission to attend Stefan's subsequent session when he received the new football and had Stefan autograph his jersey. Even while those gifts were fantastic, none of them had the same significance as what Stefan did next. Just before the game, Stefan surprised Aiden with something that would bring tears to everyone's eyes by getting tickets for Aiden and his family to their first game. Aiden was overcome with emotion when he received sneakers that were not only Air Force Ones with a Bills motive, but also had painted images of Aiden and his father with the words, love you, inscribed in his father's handwriting. Stefan felt compelled to share a photo of the occasion in social media, noting that not many know what it's like to lose their daddy for real. I remember it felt like I lost everything. I had to make myself a man. Merry Christmas, little Aiden. After that, Aiden's mother started being emotional and teary-eyed just thinking about it. Although Stefan touched the lives of many people he had never met, no one's life was touched as profoundly as that of NFL player DeAndre Hopkins, whose moving narrative began with the burning of his mother. When a second woman approached DeAndre's mother and her boyfriend on July 20, 2002, they were fighting when the other woman approached them holding a cup of liquid and did something fatal. Her only hope of survival was for a helicopter to land, pick her up, and transport her to a burn center where she would receive specialized care due to the chemicals on her body being essentially acidic. She was in a coma and had to stay in the hospital for a month. Fortunately, she lived, but it cost her and DeAndre a life that would never be the same. DeAndre intended to use everything that had happened to her as inspiration to become the best football player he could be, even after all of this sorrow. DeAndre was therefore expected to enter the NFL as a first-round pick, following his record-breaking and dominant performance in college football. When his fantasies eventually come true on draft night, his mother was there, of course. However, his emotional journey and the things he did for his mother didn't finish when he made it to the league. DeAndre promised to take her to as many of his games as he could, even though he knew she would never get to see him perform live on the largest platform. And whenever she's there, DeAndre works extra hard to make every catch so his mother can hear his name shouted. DeAndre also always finds her in the stands when he scores a touchdown or even receives the game ball, making the occasion extra meaningful for her. Envision enduring all of it, though going forward, not every story is heartwarming because someone nearly died. DeAndre has earned my respect. What if I told you that an unsightly haircut was the only reason for the tragic moment that befell another NFL player? You know, it all began with a viral video of a young special needs youngster being harassed at school. You could see that the bullies were pressuring the student to get his head shaved through peer pressure. Micah Parsons, the popular cowboy, was forced to intervene after the embarrassing video went viral on social media. He asked if someone could find a child for him, coding the video. Micah was still determined to help, so he tweeted again after hours of receiving no response. Any update on finding him? Micah was then prompted to tweet, Thank you everyone for the help, I've made contact. I wish everyone understands love is spread in multiple ways. Don't wait until we see pain and suffering. Let's continue to make strides in protecting our youth. This came after a fan had responded to Micah with a link to the kid's GoFundMe page. Using his position to not only locate the child but also raise awareness about the issue, Micah has now drawn the attention of other athletes. NBA player Marcus Smart tweeted that he wanted to help and even promised to get the Celtics and Puma to send the kid something since they had his back. With the help of two athletes and their supporters, the child's GoFundMe page went from having a few hundred dollars raised by a few supporters to over $1,000 in donations and over $30,000 after that. The child used the money to buy new clothes, a new haircut, and of course, to put some of it into savings because that amount of money changed his life. Okay, let's lighten the tone a little, as not all emotional moments are needed for such seriousness. An NFL coach cried so much that his tears went viral and made him into a meme. 
The national anthem of our country was played just minutes before Super Bowl 57, and as you can imagine, it was an emotional moment for everyone, but especially for the head coach of the Eagles, whose tears before the big game caused accounts to post clips of him everywhere, almost making him more popular than the game itself. Fans made a ton of memes out of this scenario, without even understanding why he was acting so emotional. According to some, this is how he'd be after watching Marley and Me, or when the potato salad was touched by the baked beans. Finally, but not least, a fan said that the coach was crying because he knew the script and still had to go out there. Another even went so far as to say, this was them when they craved Chick-fil-A on a Sunday. It turned out that the coach was merely in his feelings after one of the craziest Super Bowls in history occurred during all of this, and the Eagles suffered a terrible loss, which was a whole other cause to be emotional. Nevertheless, this was a dream come true event. Okay, so you know the saying goes, when one story ends, another begins? And that's kind of what happened with this NFL player too, as T.Y. Hilton's daughter's birth affected him on more than one level. It also resulted in an emotional touchdown celebration in front of a full crowd. T.Y. was at the hospital a few hours before he was scheduled to play in a major game because his wife had gone into labor and subsequently given birth to their daughter, Gigi. Naturally, this was one of the most significant times in T.Y.'s life, but he didn't want to disappoint his comrades. Thus, he made a pledge to his daughter that he would dedicate the game to her before he left the hospital. And T.Y. was going to live up to these rather high expectations now that there were new eyes on him. T.Y. honored his daughter in addition to playing well and finally scoring a 73-yard touchdown during the game. A small congrats to our kid for the outstanding performance in the game, the speech, and the courage to cry. However, there are situations when having tragic experiences happens more quickly and isn't a good thing, similar to the time an NFL player had to save a life. Following a night out with some friends, KJ Osborne took the responsible course of calling himself an Uber. However, KJ and his driver were simply heading home when it scooped him up when all of a sudden something bizarre occurred. When a man lost control of his vehicle while driving, it crashed into a concrete pillar beneath a bridge and caught fire from all angles. KJ quickly ordered the Uber to stop and hoped they could assist him in getting out. Fortunately, KJ's intervention allowed them to rescue the man from burning the automobile and bring him to safety. Police and paramedics still had to rush over to the scene because of the scenario, but they told KJ that the man simply had a broken leg and wasn't dead. In reality, KJ was one of those heroes without a cape. However, he took all the credit to someone else when he posted an emotional image of himself and the other people who put the burning car out on Instagram. However, KJ wrote, Most of the time the saying goes, wrong place, wrong time. But this time, I believe God had me us at the right place at the exact right time last night. Myself and these three absolute heroes helped save a man's life by rescuing him from a vehicle up in flames after a bad crash, a situation I'd never imagined being a part of in a million years. I leave you with this. God is real and his love is real. He will send his angels to be camped around you and provide you with his grace and mercy. Give this person a medal of honor, please, or at least some kind of recognition. Ironically though, when an award was at stake, one of the NFL's most tragic events ever occurred not only destroyed a fan's lifelong tattoo, but also caused the entire stadium to burst into tears. An NFL player vanished from the earth as a result of it. Both Bills players and supporters seem to be experiencing intense emotions all the time. On January 21, 2024, however, things were meant to be different. Stepping back in time for a moment, the Chiefs had stopped the Bills' postseason run year after year, and they were in town for a playoff game against them, with the victor going to the AFC Championship. Everyone thought that since this game was being played in Buffalo, New York, things would be different. As the match progressed, both teams engaged in physical combat and made daring maneuvers to keep the score close. However, in the end, the Bills were down to three again and had little time remaining. Everything that is, the game, their season, and the future of a few players, came down to one last play. And when all the odds were in favor of an easy opportunity to tie the game, their kicker, Fans obviously anticipated the inevitable, even if the game wasn't over, but it was painful to miss a fundamental kick that the guy had prepared so much in a moment like that. Ultimately, the Chiefs won the game by running out the clock, with the Bill seasons officially finished. They waved and insulted all of the fans, leaving their supporters in tears. But remember the man who missed the kick? He wasn't even the most devastated. It was the fans. In addition to being incredibly depressed during the post-game interview, he is Tyler Bass. Fans were hating him so much because of what he did during the game. Goddamn Tyler Bass fucking sucks, exclaimed one fan. 
While another exclaimed, Need Tyler Bass fired immediately. 40 yarder with your life on the line. I can't believe it. The worst of the circumstances developed when some even threatened to kill him in emails. It's unfortunate that the threats, of which I was going to show you some, were removed. As Tyler was so upset by the situation that he simply deleted all of his social media accounts and vanished entirely. I sincerely hope he's alright, but in all honesty, I think it's fair for people to ghost each other occasionally. Not only is this last tragic moment one of the most moving tales in NFL history, it was only made possible by a shooing victim. This is Quan Alexander, and he credits his relationship with his younger brother Broderick, his best friend, and for being a major factor in his decision to pursue a career in the NFL. Quan was excited to see his brother watch him play in the NFL since he knew his brother would always have his back. Because the stadium wasn't too far from Quan's hometown in Alabama, where his family was staying, the memorable event was scheduled to occur during his rookie season while his team was visiting Atlanta for a game. Even though the family was thrilled, things went south for Quan's brother Broderick at a home party just before the game. Quan was shaken to learn that his boy had vanished. In the end though, Quan made the decision to simply step up and support his teammates as his brother would have wanted him to. Quan's teammates could tell how much he was struggling, yet he still put on all his gear and went out there to play for his son. Whatever was happening, Quan swore to make it a night the entire world would remember since he knew his brother was watching him. Quan had the opportunity to do something amazing on the first drive of the game. Unfortunately, Quan and his family's great occasion was marred by a banner. But shortly after, Quan elevated the game. He ultimately made another significant interception, and shortly after that, he pulled the ball away from a guy to force a fumble. Quan was genuinely enjoying himself during the game, and he ultimately contributed to his team's triumph. It was undeniable that Quan's emotions drove him insane, and it was understandable that he became emotional both on the field and in the locker room when he received the game ball as recognition. Even though Quan believed his brother should have received all the praise, he understood that the occasion was greater than him. Consequently, Quan did something terrible when it came time for the burial. And guys, I think that will be it for today. And thank you so much for watching. If these moments hit you as hard as they hit us, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Catch you on the next one.